In this lecture, we're going to discuss anchor text diversity. For a long time, keyword rich anchor text was the link building way. If you wanted to rank, you picked the keywords or words you wanted to rank for and then used one of those keywords as the link for every or nearly every link you built. Let's use an example, cookingwithspam.com. A large percentage of your inbound links would have looked like spam recipes, spam meals, or maybe even spam specialties. Google now clearly interprets exact match anchor text of this nature as an attempt to manipulate its algorithm. Many webmaster tool warnings due to unnatural links are really just a cause of anchor text. This doesn't mean that you can't have any keyword rich anchor text out there. It can be argued that you should in fact still have some links out there that use such text. The important word in the previous sentence is some. It's all a matter of amount. It's relatively easy to avoid. There are so many different ways to place anchor text. Let's use our friends at Majestic SEO as an example. They created an infograph that details how Majestic SEO works. The natural place to put their link would be as a caption at the bottom, giving them credit for putting the infograph together. Some examples of anchor text would be infograph courtesy of Majestic SEO. Majestic SEO would be an example of branded anchor text. Another example, for more information, click here. Click here would be considered white noise anchor text. And a final example, how Majestic SEO works. Bring SEO to small businesses. Bring SEO to small businesses would be an example of long-tailed anchor text. In some regards, the anchor text you use is just as significant to your link as the site it is published on. Not only will anchor text help determine the value of your links, but it will also shape how your backlink portfolio looks to Google. If you're not staying on top of anchor text best practices, the links you build could appear unnatural to Google and result in your site being penalized. In the early stages of linking, most sites would simply link with an exact URL as the anchor text. For example, a link to page one power may look like this. Let's get an example of what not to do. I'm going to use a simple affiliate website. Someone has tried to use manipulative tactics to rank. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into Majestic SEO. As you can see, I've already done that. We're looking at the root domain. What we're going to do is we're going to slide down here and take a look at the anchor text. Over here on the right, you can actually see the anchor text. I find it's a little easier though to use the pie chart. You can just hover over it. As you can see, the anchor text here is Salmonabolic Muscle Maximizer. It makes up 43% of the links. Down here, we can see Muscle Maximizer anchor text taking up 14% of the text. I don't think I really need to go much further because it's pretty obvious that they're misusing anchor text here. Almost all of it is branded anchor text. The use of tactics such as this to try and game the system has resulted in Google making updates to their algorithm that punished sites using this tactic. Most notably, the Penguin update heavily penalized sites with large percentages of exact match anchor text and formed the strategies people use today. It has become clear what types of anchor text strategies should be pursued and which should be avoided. Exact match anchor text should be used sparingly and should only make up a small percentage of your backlink portfolio. The rest of your portfolio should consist of a combination of things. Two common anchor text strategies involve branded anchor text such as page1power.com and partial match or long-tailed anchor text. Partial match and long-tailed anchor text include a partial phrase or portion of the keyword or term you are trying to rank for rather than the exact term. The use of white noise anchor text is another option that will help you round out your backlink portfolio. White noise anchor text refers to links that have the anchor text click here and are usually used around keywords or phrases in close proximity. These are the anchor text best practices that you should be employing so you can build a natural backlink profile that won't get you penalized by Google. I'm sure some of you are thinking to yourself, what is the right combination of exact, partial, and white noise anchor text? Unfortunately, there's no exact number to be used. Why? Because, well, that wouldn't be natural. Think of natural as random. If everyone's backlink profile looked the same, then it wouldn't be natural. So let's take a look at a healthy profile, our very own page1power.com. Here you can see we're back at Majestic SEO. We have entered our URL, and we are going to take a look at the results from the root domain. And we're also going to bring up the other website. Now look at the contrast between the anchor text of these two websites. 63% of the anchor text for page one power is listed as other, whereas 50% of the affiliate site is some form of branded text. 
Keep in mind your site doesn't have to look like ours. We are only using this to demonstrate the difference between a healthy and unhealthy anchor text strategy. The progression of anchor text is something that has developed and changed over a number of years. As Google continues to perfect their algorithm, anchor text strategy will no doubt continue to change. However, for now it's important to adhere to anchor text best practices to get the most out of your links and ensure you don't appear to be gaming the system.